It is Thursday, May 26th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back. We got four best picks coming your guys' way. We got one money line, two player props, even a hit parlay, and a no-run first inning coming right up. You guys already know what I'm going to say. Mash that subscribe button. Austin, if everyone who was watching this video were to go down and just hit that subscribe button, take five seconds of their of their day, we would hit 34,000 today, no problem. So we would really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and do so. Also, drop a like on this video. It helps more people to see it. I agree, Logan. I have a question for you before we get into our plays. What's better than one parlay cash? Yeah, how about two parlay cashes in oh, a row? Yeah, baby. We cashed our second parlay of the day in a row. The A's Mariners under seven and a half runs. White Sox minus one and a half. Shout out Jake Berger. Michael Logan's joke was he's going to go eat a burger tonight for him. Shout out him. Well, I might do the same. But our regular plays at three and one day, so close to the four and oh sweep. Mancini gets on base twice. It was a fielder's choice and a walk. Not much we can do about that. Philly's team total cashes, I believe, in the fourth, fifth inning, top of the fifth. Urias. Easily, well, not easily, gets five, 15 outs very easily. The last three outs, one out really was very tough. And Mariners, A's, no run first inning. A very good day. Not much we can complain about that. So we've been helping you guys make some money. We appreciate it if you go down below, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support us even more, just a little bit more, become a COS All-Star. You get all our plays a little bit early in case the lines do move, which sometimes they do. It does happen, especially for player props. We have two new All-Stars. We got Xavier and we got Ryan. Thank you guys all so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support us, click the join button on the channel. Only $2.99 a month. And hopefully we can bring out the 4-0 sweep today, our parlay of the day, going for three straight winners in a row. We'll be live a little bit later on this morning, hopefully by 10, 11 a.m. You definitely can check the link. I'll put it in the pinned comment down below. Without further ado, Logan, I want to throw it to you. First pick of the day, we're up over 12.64 units on the year. What do you got for the people? Because you're in a change of scenery today. I am in, in a change of scenery. With all the money I've made from the parlay cashing, I decided to take a vacation. I, no, I, I am on vacation, though. I'm in, I'm in Washington, D.C. Tomorrow, hint, hint, we're going to be going to one of the games that you're picking today. But... In this one, we're going to the, the Rays versus Yankees, game one of this series, of, a really good divisional uh, showdown. And where I'm taking the Rays money line, underdogs versus the Yankees, currently plus 115 odds on odds, Jim, as, as Austin's pulling it up on DraftKings. That's that's our best value. And you know what? Game one is, is the time to pick underdogs, especially at-home underdogs. Rays are in a, in a good position here. Both teams are riding two-game winning streaks. The Rays took care of... Uh, of the Marlins and, and the Yankees also took care care of the Orioles two out of those three games wasn't pretty though I'm not gonna lie to you if you if you had Yankees in those games you weren't feeling great about yourself ton of injuries for the Yankees this is the narrative right Donaldson you know Stanton IL injuries when Mayhew's questionable for this game Chapman and two other bullpen arms are also either on the IL or questionable so you've got a lot of uh potential problems for the Yankees in this one they're not at full strength not not even a little bit they're going to be relying on on batters like Aaron Hicks to get it done and um, as you saw yesterday they could only put up two runs versus the Orioles it's not a pretty offense one bit they today the Yankees are in do or die on Nestor Cortez right nasty Nestor with the mustache Cortez three one and zero in runs in each of his last three starts he's been really solid on the year 1.8 uh yeah 1.8 ERA in his last start, though, versus the White Sox, I, I kind of called it. Teams that hit well versus left-handed pitchers sometimes fare well versus Cortez, who is a lefty. The Rays are one of those teams batting 272 versus left-handed pitchers at home this year. So I, they're definitely going to have opportunities to hit Cortez. And because they are a divisional team, they have seen him before, right? Kiermaier batting 500 versus Cortez. Mejia 500 and Wander Franco 250 versus Cortez. So they've seen him. And they've hit him before. So I, I think the Rays could definitely get to Nestor today. I'm not calling that they, you know, explode for five runs on him. But it's certainly possible playing at home and where they've been hitting well as well. Yarborough is scheduled to start for the Rays. 1-0 and five run runs in each of his last three starts. Coming in with a 4.2 ERA on the year. I don't love the five run run type performance. But the one and the zero in his last two starts are very encouraging. I think he could, he's in line for a pretty solid start today. This Yankees offense, as I mentioned, they're banged up. They're missing key guys. So they're 16th in hits, just about middle of the pack this year, and they're only batting 245 on the road this year. It's not like they're you know scorching 280 or anything like that. They're 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 going to struggle at times to put up some runs if if they're not via the home run, right? If judge if judge isn't carrying with Superman cape today, the the Yankees offense might be in trouble. To, and lastly, I do want to talk about trends a little bit. Tampa Bay's 15 and nine at home, a good home team, and seven and three versus left-handed pitchers. I always find that you know really interesting. I told you they hit well versus lefties, and they take care of them 
full game as well. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and ride the Rays in this one. I love the value that I'm getting at the underdog in this one, and I feel great as our first pick of the day. But Austin, you got two player props for us once again. Wait, where's your first one at? Yes, we are back, and I really like the Rays' money line pick, and you're right about those bullpen arms. And the Yankees just went, went with a full bullpen day yesterday, so if they can run up the pitch count on Nestor, they could be in for a little bit of hurt. But today I'm going to a game that you'll be real close to. I'm going Rockies, Nationals. I'm going Herman Marquez, and I'm taking this over. Over five and a half hits allowed, minus 128 on FanDuel. If I go over to Oddstamp, we have a lot of books with the same, you know, one, you know, five and a half hits line. We have minus 133 Caesars, minus 130 DraftKings. I'm just taking the best value on FanDuel that we find on Oddstamp. Now, why do I like it? Well, Marquez, he's been a guy we faded all season long. He's been a guy that we've just paid in at the home, on the road, and he's even even worse on the road. Now, in his last seven starts, he's over six hits. He's allowed six hits in six of those starts with 10, 8, 7, 10, 6, 3, and 11 hits allowed in his most recent start. Now, that included a matchup against today's opponent, the Washington Nationals. They, he allowed 10 hits against that team, and we talked about Urias yesterday against this Nationals team. And we had Urias, he pitched pretty much a gem, but we still saw the Nationals get up four hits on him through six innings pitch. Now we have to consider Urias didn't allow a hit until the fifth inning. So the fact that they were able to still get up the four hits against him, then I, I kind of like it. We I know Urias is a pitch to contact guy. Marquez also pitched to contact guy. I would argue one of those guys is a little bit better than the other. You can uh, you can read into that one. Now Marquez has allowed six plus hits in seven straight road starts, giving up 12.1 hits per nine innings so far this year. Now I do want to say the splits versus Marquez, not necessarily the best. We got Soto batting 364, Lane Thomas batting 333. But we're going to need more from Cesar Hernandez, who's batting this, this 0.085 versus, uh, versus Marquez. Nelson Cruz, 0 for 6. Josh Bell, point, just point, 0 0.95. I put the zero, the decimal point in the wrong spot on the slide. But still, they aren't batting that well against him. But I think that's going to change because the Nationals, as I talked about against Urias, they're batting 303 on balls in play. That's fourth best in the majors. So Marquez, the guy that's just going to pitch to contact, and we're going to be relying on this Nationals team, which has been a little bit hit or miss at home, no pun intended, but I think they can get it done. They are the favorites today, which normally they're not favored in any game. They have one of the worst records in the league. So the fact that they're favored, I think they think Marquez is going to get hit up a little bit. The over under is right around eight and a half to nine. I'm not necessarily asking the Nationals to go out there and get me a ton of runs. That's not, not what I really need or want. I just want them to go get on base, get a couple singles, get a bunch of singles, six singles. That's all we need today, and I think they really can do it. Now, Logan mentioned I got two plays. So, yeah, we're going to give you a hit parlay, and this one's a little bit spicy one because today I'm going with Rafael Devers and J.D. Martinez, each to record a hit, minus 125 on FanDuel. This is a little bit of a same-game parlay we've cooked up for you guys, but I really like this one here. I think we see two guys that are arguably – batting the hottest bats in the MLB. I mean, these two guys have just been absolutely scorching so far this year. We look at Devers, batting 333 on the year, 375 in May. Said that wasn't good enough. Now, J.D. Martinez said, Devers, you're trash. I'm betting 372 on the year, 434 in May. These guys are absolutely crushing the ball. Today, they get to go up against Dallas Keuchel. We all know Keuchel. He is who he is. I believe this game is roughly a pick -em. Now, Devers batting four for five, 800 versus Keuchel. So I'm not too worried about him. J.D. Martinez had weird splits. 0.222 versus uh versus JD Mer or versus Dallas Keuchel. A little bit odd because Keuchel is a left-handed pitcher and Martinez crushes lefties. He's 385 versus lefties this year. So I think just maybe a little bad luck against uh, Dallas Keuchel so far in his career. I think he gets it going today. And look, Devers is batting 356 versus lefties. So two guys batting over 350 versus left-handed pitchers. Look, sign me up. It's also worth noting Devers and Martinez, both of the hit in 23 of their last 25 games. I'm fine with taking this one. We also can guarantee they're on the road, so they're guaranteed to at least hit in nine innings, whereas if they're at home, they might not bat in the bottom of the ninth. Both these two guys up in the top five of the rotation, both hitting very, very well. Swinging scorching bats. I love both the two guys to get a hit today. Brian with a little bit of same game parlay action. Give me Devers and Martinez. Both to record a hit, but Logan, best time of the day. Best time in the channel. I need to go pull it up. Let's get the music rocking and rolling because it is nerfy. Let's go. Yeah, there's no better time to be alive, Nerfy Nation. We were down bad a couple days ago, and then we came back with a bounce back performance yesterday with Blackburn and Robbie Ray. Today, we're going with the cheeky one. We're going Guardians Tigers. No run first thing, minus 128 on FanDuel. Now, I had the slide pulled up for uh, for it, but I don't know where my tab went for Odds Jam. So you just have to trust us. It's minus 128 on FanDuel. Now, we look at on the mound. I just banged my table. And all right, camera went bouncing up and down. But Tariq Skubal on the mound for the Tigers. He's going to be going up against the Guardians. And we looked 
You love Scoobo. He's been actually a very changed pitcher. He showed a lot of work this offseason. I mean, been pitching pretty well. Look, he's 6-2 and two of the no-run first inning this year. His last three have been nerfy, so props to him. And he already nerfied against the Cleveland Guardians. It was earlier. I believe it was his last start that he did nerf against them. Now, Guardians were swinging a sweet and hot bat early on the season, but they're still 19th in first run inning runs. Not a team that's necessarily been scoring a lot. So if he can get through those three, who's going to have to get through the other three, Logan? Yeah, it's scheduled to be Connor Pilkington. Not gonna lie, don't know who that was. Got had to go pull up. You know, I, sorry, I'm I'm a I'm a casual in baseball. You know, for the for the it's Guardians. A Tigers pitcher. <laughs> or no, <a> Guardians pitcher. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Guardians fans. Don't come for me. Connor Pilkington, right? Two point oh eight ERA. I love his stats though. Only four walks and eight and two thirds innings pitched. Now he has started one game and did allow two two runs in the first inning in his only start versus the Blue Jays. But you know what? It's a little nervous, right? I would I'd be nervous too in my first start. You know, it, it's totally different to come in as, as a rotational guy versus the starting pitcher. But I assume that he's he's settling down in the Blue Jays bats so much better than the Tigers bats, right? Pilkington also zero in runs in all other innings pitched this year. So he kind of had that fluky, you know, nervous first start versus the Blue Jays, and he settled in. Detroit, their offense, not not world beaters, right? 29th in first inning runs. I think Pilkington stands a really good chance at getting us those those three outs we need. Like I said, I like his season, you know, sample size better than that that one fluky-ish first inning. I think we're going to cast this flag again. Look, I'm on vacation in D.C., and I brought my nerfy flag. I'm going to be traveling around with it all day. I uh, <laughs> hopefully we can go for back to back though on first inning cash. I think we're 28 and 18 on them so far. So not terrible value for this one. So those are our four picks. We have the Guardian Tigers, no run first inning. We have Devers and Martinez, both to record a hit. We have Herman Marquez, over five and a half hits allowed, and raise money line underdog shout out. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. This has been Austin and Logan. We'll catch you guys again tomorrow morning.